Hey, what's going on guys? Mitch here. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video, but I decided today I need to go ahead and make a review on the new backpack I got. It's the Granite Gear Verga 2. Um, and before I do anything, before I start this video, I just want to give a huge shout out, huge thank you to Granite Gear for providing me with this pack um, to do reviews on and videos of because this will be the pack that I am carrying on my Pacific Crest Trail 2017 uh, through hike attempt this year starting early May or so. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I love this pack. Um, I really love it. And you can see I've got my Granite Gear v, uh, Crown VC60 here beside it. I'll be kind of going back and forth um, in this video kind of comparing the two. Won't go into as much detail on this one as I will be on this one. Um, uh, just because this uh, this is solely the Verga 2 review. And this review is based on my experiences with numerous day hikes, five, six mile-ish day hikes that I've taken um, in Utah when I was in southern Utah. I'm, I'm back in Mississippi now, as you can see, but um, I took several, several five, six mile hikes in Utah with it with about 22 to 25 pounds in it, which they recommend the um, load capacity to be about 20 pounds, which I've found that that's their comfort limit, which I've found that um, it is comfortable at 20 pounds, but it can also be um, just as comfortable with a little more weight in there. And on the PCT, of course, on my resupply days, maybe the first day out of town or the beginning of a day when I'm carrying so much water, I'm, I'm sure I will be a little bit above that. But from my experiences so far, that hasn't seemed to be much of an issue. The, the weight um, is very comfortable. It distributes the load really well. Um, the, the over 20 pounds is not an issue that I have found so far. So, so I'm going to kind of go into some comparisons here between the two backpacks. First of all, my one of my main reasons for switching to this pack over the Granite Gear is to save weight. Of course, everybody wants to lower their base weight, and this I found was just a perfect way to do that. My Granite Gear, the, the Crown VC60, weighs something like 34 to 36 ounces. I didn't fact check that before I came out here. But this guy weighs 19 ounces. It is, it, it is frameless, which I really like. I didn't know if I was going to like that at first, but it's something that has really grown on me. The thing about it has been perfect so far. This pack actually has load lifters, which I've seen a lot of frameless packs do not have load lifters. Make sure you can see that a little bit better this one does and they're awesome I really like that um, I thought maybe the frameless would be a little bit of an issue but it's not um, it carries just as well as long as you know how to pack it now right now I only have my sleeping bag in here which I'll pull out in a little while and show you the scale the size of this pack fits a perfectly uh, just a normal sleeping bag that I have a big Agnes spike lake fits perfectly in the bottom of here other than that I've just got some blankets in here right now to show you how it's filled out but with the frameless option of the Verga 2 you really have to be careful of how you pack this pack um, because it really depends on how comfortable it's going to be in the long run you don't want lumps sticking out on your side right here anything like that but I haven't had a problem with that as I've said numerous times already in this video fantastic what I love most about this pack and what I've tried to stress to everybody who has asked me why I switched or what the differences are my main point for this video is, and why I like this pack is that the best I can describe it is that this the Verga 2 in my opinion strips the Crown VC60 of all the non-essentials and what I mean by that is that it, it has the same it, I'm pretty sure it's the same fabric um, and it's it loses weight in just really subtle ways. Now you can, you might not be able to see because you're pretty far out, but the webbing strap in places is not as thick as on the Verga. Here and here, everywhere, there's a lot of places where they're just saving some weight. Now the hip, the padding in places, I keep switching everything, it's kind of funny. The shoulder straps for the crown are a lot wider. Not a lot wider, but a little bit wider, saving some weight right there. The hip belt is probably the main one. There's a good bit of padding in the Crown VC, which I like. It was very comfortable that way. But I was carrying about 35 pounds in this pack at some times when I was maybe the first day out of town or whatever. Heaviest I carried, 35, maybe even 40 pounds in this pack. This pack, you're never going to be carrying that much. I want you to see. 
the webbing or the excuse me the padding on this hip belt I might be too close I don't know but it's very thin but I haven't had an issue with that so far still very comfortable so it strips the non-essentials from this backpack but it keeps the the comfort the durability the functionality of of the of the crown VC and I really like that so far you're saving so much weight but almost the same pack which is really great in my opinion so I did opt for the regular version which is a is a little bit smaller than the crown VC 60 um, this one I believe again I didn't fact check before I came out here I should have um, I'm pretty sure this is 54 liters you're just a little bit smaller than than the crown VC 60 and as you can see I've got my 10 on top here which fits perfectly on the top it can fit inside although my light heart gear tent is a little wide and sometimes doesn't like to fit in packs or it's a little bit awkward and stressing the fact again that it's all how you pack this this guy um, nice stretchy pockets on the outside you can see I've got a few things in here already just like gloves and hats and whatnot but it's very stretchy the same sort of um, material you have on the on the VC now one thing the only thing I will have to complain about this pack is as you can see on on the VC 60 is it's the same sort of stretch material on your outside pockets as your water bottle pockets and the same stretch mesh kind of deal you have here that you have here and here I don't know why they did it there must be some sort of reason maybe weight savings I'm not really sure how that would work but Granite Gear decided to switch maybe to a little bit more durable fabric but it's definitely less stretchy and that's something that I do not like something that I've had a little bit of an issue with with this pack as you can see I've got two uh, they're not the one liter bottles but they're the same with um, two water bottles in there and it's a pretty it's a pretty tight fit now with this pack I could fit two and a and something else in there if I wanted to my pack cover these just aren't as stretchy and I don't really know why that is um, I'd be interested to find out and maybe somebody can let me know in the comments or something like that like I said could be weight savings could be a little bit more durable fabric um, I'm not sure but the only that's the only um, you know sort of difficulties I have with this pack is when you're hiking with it this one is already a little bit awkward enough to have to get your water bottles out it just takes a little practice you get used to it after a while this one is just a little bit different also something I forgot to mention is that these are a little bit higher um, you might not be able to tell because I don't have this one packed but these don't come up quite as far as they do on the Virga 2 which your water bottle almost goes all the way down in there so interesting and I don't know why um, Granite Gear decided to do that um, but maybe like I said maybe I'll find out who knows other than that guys I really don't know what else to go over in this pack I've never done a review before um, so I guess that's pretty much it I can't think of anything else to go over I'll put the pack on um, in the next clip and kind of show you how it feels how it looks um, I love this pack I really do um, I think it's I think it's fantastic and I, can't, I don't really have any complaints and this isn't really a, even a complaint it's just something that I don't really understand and possibly wouldn't have changed but that's that's it um, so I don't really know how this is gonna look but um, as you can see I've got the pack on I really wanted to give you guys a scale and a reference of what it looks like um, it looks like a backpack um, everything's really comfortable on it you can see the hip belt um, something I didn't mention the hip belt is one size fits all. Now you can get adjustable hip belts for your VC60, but this one does not have it. I'm a pretty skinny dude, as you can see, I'm a turn sideways. Um, I'm a skinny guy, and this I'm pretty much all the way tightened on my hip belt. Not an issue unless I lose weight, per se, on the PCT, which I don't think I will. But um, if you're smaller than I am, I weigh 160 pounds, if you're smaller than that, could have an issue with that. Um, I don't know if Granite Gear can fix that, or if there's a smaller hip belt for the smaller torso length. Like I said, I have the regular. Um, not sure. But I just thought I would mention that. So I'm gonna turn, as you can see, there's kind of the side angle. Nice and flat against my back, which I really like. I mean, that's how your pack should fit. Um, and you got your load lifters here. I'm gonna adjust those for you. So the 
those, you can see how those work. Pull it nice and tight up against your back. That's how it looks from the back. It doesn't move, it moves with you. It's nice and flexible. Feels good. Just all around great pack, as you can see. Burger 2. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's my take on the Granite Gear Verga 2 and a little bit on the on the VC60. I love both of these packs. Um, they're fantastic, and I really like Granite Gear, um, first and foremost, for sending me this pack and for just providing fantastic packs. I mean, they're, they're really... They're really top of the line in my opinion. This one took me 2,100 miles. I mean, it took me the whole 18. It really, it would, it, it could be ready to go again tomorrow. Um, there's only a few small holes in the, in the webbing of your water bottle holders. Um, other than that, great pack. Functionality is perfect, um, and I just can't. And I plan on taking this one 2,700 miles. So, so the durability of these packs is is just amazing. So I just really want to wrap this up. I know I have forgot. Uh, forgotten a few things I always do so if you have any questions please feel free to write in the comments or email me or anything you need to do um, to have your questions answered I would be happy to do that um, I know I've forgotten a few things I wish I could think of them but I can't so once again just make sure you guys go check out uh, Granite Gears website I'll make sure I post the post their website their link in the description below so you guys can go check out their packs all right, guys. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, thanks a lot for, for watching. I hope this review was helpful. Um, please feel free to ask me any questions if you have any. So um, if not, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on the PCT. Forgot about that.